Good morning everyone. Um, welcome to our honoured guests, visitors, friends, ladies and gentlemen. Um, right, as you heard, I'm Frank Street. Um, I'm delighted to welcome Mike Hart over here. We'll be performing the official reopening. Um, I'm going to make a very short speech. You'll be glad to hear. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's taken a long time to rebuild this line as far as here, um, mainly due to lack of money, uh, if not due to lack of good commitment, our volunteers are absolutely superb. Uh, they're given the time and money, absolute commitment, with no two ways about it. I'd also like to thank our sponsors. Now, there's a lots of companies and individuals who have uh, helped us with donations, um, Cook rice services, etc. Um, thank you to all of them. Now, I know some of you will be thinking, why did we do it? And sometimes, yes, I think that. <laughs> In fact, sometimes I think a lot worse than that. We think we've got wrong. It's pouring with rain. Anyway, there's an interest in railways, a sense of history, preserving the past for future generations. Um, other people, well, they like the challenge. Use existing skills, learn new ones, job satisfaction. Well, that's not something you get at work, is it, much these days? Um, now, Mike Hart, OBE, is very well known in the Heritage Movement. He's the director of the Fistemia Railway. He's the chairman of Welsh Highland Railway Construction, which is building the Welsh Highland Railway. Um, that is an Arrogate Railway, which runs through Snowdale from Carnarvon to Port Maddock. And I do apologise if my pronunciation is incorrect. <laughs> um, we've got some similarities. They're 25 miles long. <laughs> and they've spent 28 million pounds. Now, that makes them only slightly bigger than us. I mean, they've spent all this money, and they started with nothing, we started with nothing. The difference is we've still got most of it left. <laughs> um, on the subject of money, um, I saw a survey fairly recently which says that every pound spent by the public visiting the railway, a heritage railway that is, generates five pounds spent on fuel accommodation, etc. Um, now these people are saying that we're not important and that we're just a little hobby. Think about what that brings into the local economy. I mean, the small businesses around about, and, and we don't have a policy of supporting the small local businesses if we can, um, they have noticed a difference, not only from our spend, but from our visitors' spend. Um, now, volunteers, uh, I go back to the uh, Welsh Highland Railway, uh, when they were building it, they had almost a thousand volunteers. Now, that puts into perspective, yes, they've got a lot longer line, but look at the number of volunteers. Now, I think we do well when we get 20 on a working day. Today there's probably about 40 to 45. But I think it's absolutely amazing, scale-wise, what we've achieved here with the very limited numbers. And I'd like to thank everybody very much. I will now hand you over to Mike Hart over here who will perform the unveiling of the plaque. Thank you, Frank, and to all your colleagues and members of the railway. It really is an honour and a privilege to be here today and come and see what you've done. I heard the word VIP visitors mentioned, and the VIP, knowing a bit about railways, looking at this, what you've done is good. It really, really is good. So congratulations to everybody that's made this project possible. And as Frank mentioned, uh, I think now that you have waved the flag and shown the local community what you can do, hopefully it's time now for the local authorities to come on board and, and support you. Five pounds per visitor in Wales. The surveys have shown that everybody that comes to our railway, the average spend per head of the local community that keeps the pubs going, the shops going, everything else going, is actually near £35 per person. So, 
hopefully what you've done here will show people what the railway can do for the economy, grants can be obtained, and uh, it's next stop Louth, I'm told. <laughs> Either way, upside down. <laughs> okay. We normally have to do this two or three times, if I remember. There we are. Formally open.